And I've seen how travel teaches us. It teaches so many of us composure, patience, how to love one another despite our differences. For me, it's broadened my horizons. It fosters understanding. It promotes cultural exchange. I most often come back from my travels feeling renewed, like I shed a layer, right? I know you felt that too. But to be honest, for most of my life, there's been some resistance for me around travel. But less about travel and more about getting outside of my comfort zone, especially for those long trips, mostly because I have fear of missing out on my life back home. Kind of like the world will leave me behind. But the funny thing is, is when I return home, I found nothing has changed. Everyone's the same. Nothing remotely is what I have experienced out in the world has happened at home. So when I return, it's like I never left. I haven't missed a thing, actually. When I leave, everyone is fine. When I come back, everyone's fine, fine, fine. Out on the road, I grow. I evolve. I learn who I am. The road has made me the man I am today. Each day is enormous. It's, it's a breakthrough. And then eventually I become not so afraid of missing out anymore. As a matter of fact, here's what I'm really afraid of. With all my friends and my family, they're all the same, they're fine. And I'm getting to a point where fine is not enough. Fine doesn't interest me. I need more from my human connections. But my friends and my family, I'm a little worried that sometimes I may no longer be even able to relate to them. That is how transformative the power of travel has been for me. Now, there's something bittersweet going on there, right? But the power of getting away from our routine and seeing another side of the world is undeniable, which is why we keep going back for more. But then after shooting the Voyager and traveling the world for three years and being so touched and inspired by it and all of its inhabitants, at some point I began to think, you know, I'd really like to be a little bit more accountable for my choices. My conscience unknowingly led me towards this collective consciousness that naturally an awareness sprouted from within me. So, when I choose to learn from my experience, it changes the way I behave, my actions, my wants, my needs, and how I travel. And the way I navigate the globe today is very different now than it used to be. Now, listen, it's not about being perfect. It's more about going in with mindfulness, awareness, making better decisions, and doing my best to be an active contributor to the environment in which I share with you and all of my other fellow men. In other words, I believe the right kind of tourism should create better places for residents and wildlife to live, not just for tourists to visit. Did you get that? I'm gonna say that again, who heard that? Here we go. The right kind of tourism should create better places for, for residents and wildlife to live not just for tourists to visit. So here's what we can do. How do we do that, right? So why do I care so much? And just because I care, why should you? While shooting the Voyager over dinner in Oslo, a colleague on my production team had said to me, Josh, I got 80 something years on this planet if I'm lucky. If the planet's going to hell, why bother trying to say it when I could just live the big life for the short time I'm here? I've noticed when we think about the definition of the big life, it's often perceived of having enough money to consume more. And that more is usually only for me and those inside my immediate circle, right? But what if I could step away from a self-serving approach and instead try something a little different? 
Now, I've traveled the entire globe. I've stayed in the most expensive homes and I've gorged myself on the best food. I've made excellent money living harder and bigger than most everyone I know. And here's what I've learned. By dedicating myself to a life of education, altruism, activism, and humanitarianism, not perfection, I feel true joy and bliss so much more than I ever did living carelessly. And because the universe continues to match my contributions, I get more, I enjoy more, I feel more, which grants me access to a canyon of satisfaction and gratitude that I never fathomed possible. And as a result, my love for others is enhanced. My happiness bleeds deeper, I grow richer, and I feel the full spectrum of my connection to everything and everyone. This is what the big life is really about. Thank you.